Hi, I'm John Molden. I'm the owner of Big Buck Adventures. Today we want to take this opportunity and go through the process of how to use these scents and how these scents work. We're going to talk about urine scents and gland scents. Majority of our products are gland scents. Gland scents are, have a lot stronger smell than a urine scent does. Glands tend to see have um, really the deer really know how to uh, locate them and they seem to have a better response or on a gland scent over a urine scent. All of our bottles have 80% glands, 20% urine. We do have two products that are urine based. All our urine based products are preserved. So all our urine com does come in and it's preserved and it doesn't break down and it doesn't turn into ammonia like other products do. We're going to go through this process and we're going to really talk about uh, mock scrapes to communicate how deer communicate through the mock scrapes process. What we're going to do is we're going to take our early season scents that we're using right now. Right now, anytime you use up a mock scrape, you put doe with doe, buck with buck. Uh, right now, what we're doing is we're putting the ultimate scrape mix out. The ultimate scrape mix has got buck urine, doe urine, doe interdigital, buck interdigital, doe tarsal, buck tarsal all in one bottle. There's nowhere in the nation that I know of that you get everything in one bottle. This is our buck prehorbital. Bucks communicate through the prehorbital scent up to the forehead gland scent. This is what you put up in your licking branch of your tree. You, what you want to do is you want to put this up in your licking branch, make your scrape, clear your vegetation, get it down to the bare earth by using a weed whacker or a shovel Turn over the soil. I'll use a, what we call a garden weasel and I'll work that soil. And then I sometimes will do is I'll dump up to three gallons of water, like an ice cream pail full of water, and then I'll put my scent out. So these are the two that I'll use right now. Our doe whisper is a great early season scent. It works all season long also, but this is a perfect scent to be using in the early season. The reason why we use this as an early season scent because it's also a calming scent. The deer seem to really calm down when they come in and they smell this. This consists of mostly doe urine and doe interdigital. This is how the does will communicate is through their interdigital gland between the hooves. This is doe prehorbital. Whenever you're putting out your mock scrapes, keep your doe products with doe products, your buck, buck, buck products with your buck products. Once in a while, we will suggest to customers to go ahead and do what we call a community scrape. A community scrape is buck and does using the same scrape. You can put both of these right into your bottle, your mock scrape. You can put these up into your licking branch. What I'll do sometimes, I'll encourage people to do is hang a scent wick on, on either side of the tree and put your buck rehorbital and your dope rehorbital. And then both will really communicate through that. Going on through the buck products, we will talk right now about the dominant buck urine. The dominant buck urine, what we'll suggest we do is when you do a buck scrape, be careful not to make any more, more than two by two. If you're going to make a community scrape or just a, a doe scrape, I'll make it as big as four by four, three by four, or up to four by five. The bigger I make that community scrape, the better. It just shows that that more deer are using that area. On your buck scrapes, I will not start my buck scrapes until about the first part of October. Unless you know you have a dominant buck in your area during towards the opening season, which I do know I have that one in my, oh, my area, and I may start using my dominant buck urine here with another week. What you want to do is you make your buck scrapes. You have to be very careful how you make them. What I mean by very careful, bucks usually scrapes do not go any much bigger than a two by two or a two by three. When you do your buck scrape, do the same process. Clear out the vegetation, rough up that area, go ahead and put this down, and then uh, you now you have a territorial response. To really make it more effective, what we would recommend, if you know you're gonna, where you're gonna put your buck scrape up, and if you've got your buck scrape and, in a, and your tree is only maybe an inch and a half or two inch around tree, what I'll do is I'll take my buck prehorbital, I'll spray it on the, on the trunk of the tree, 
I'll take my saw and I'll rough up that tree to make it look like there's a buck rub. Then I'll spray it again with the buck prehorbital. And I'll also spray the buck prehorbital up in the licking branch and put your dominant buck urine down. Now you have a total communication scent. Now he knows for sure that this is an active hot scrape. This is our buck fever. This is a brand new one that's coming out this year. We tested it last year and we had tremendous results with this. Be careful how you use this product. This product is used when you know you have a large dominant buck in your area. If you do not have a large dominant buck in your area, because of the strong smells that I have in this bottle, you will scare off the less dominant bucks, the smaller bucks, the satellite bucks. Because in this bottle here, we have do, uh, buck urine, buck interdigital, buck tarsal, and there is a gland up by the buck's urethra called the pubescent gland. That's the gland that mixed with the ure or urine up by the urethra and makes that buck give off that smelly, really stinky smell when he pees on his hawks. We added that gland into this, this scent product and it's just been had tremendous results with this only use this if you know you have a dominant buck in your area. It does not take a lot. I'll do the same process. You can do the same process as putting this on your, on your trunk of your tree, scrape the bark, put it on your licking branch, and put this product down. Sometimes I'll encourage your customers will call me and ask me, I like to hang a scent dripper up in a buck scrape. Our, hot, our new one called our Hot Rage Buck. This is a good one to use in a scent dripper. This is mostly all dominant buck urine. I put a little bit of, of buck interdigital and just a little bit of tarsal gland. I do not put a lot of it because it's mostly dominant buck urine and there's a strong enough smell of a dominant buck, but this works the best in a dripper setup. This will come in a four ounce or eight ounce bottle. Anytime that you're gonna use a urine product, you should put out four to eight ounces every time. I actually recommend up to 16 ounces if you're going to only hunt that area on a weekend or something. Urine takes a lot more urine to get that results of a smell for those deer to come into that urine smell. People don't realize that. When you go to the store, what do you buy? Two ounces, four ounces, and that's all the urine you put in it. That's not enough. You don't have enough pheromones in, or in that urine to get a good response. That's why the urine product you should actually put, put, be put on eight ounces at a time. Every time you go out, you should be pouring eight ounces of urine out in order to be effective. That's why we use the glands. The glands are a lot more stronger. They're a communication scent. The deer respond to the glands much better than they do to a urine product. Especially those out you or those of you out there have tried the urine products and you have learned that you don't have that great response from them because it takes that much urine in order to get a good response from the pheromones. Now we'll kind of jump, jump over to the doe scents. We talked a little bit about the doe whisper. It's a good early season scent. Like I said, it's a calming scent. I'll use this in our mock scrapes. We start our mock scrapes right on the end of August, August 20th, and we, it was when we get going with doing our mock scrapes. And then we'll continue on with this um, all through season but this is a good one to get through, through the early season, or I'll use this sometimes late in the year in December when I'm just um, out there just trying to hunt for, um, just get the does to come in and things to uh, calm down. This is a good calming scent. Doe Passion. Doe Passion has been one of our hottest scents. Majority of our big bucks have been killed off the Doe Passion. Now you got to be careful with how you use this and when you use it. I will start using the Doe Passion right, right about that, that week of Halloween going into the first week of November. You want to be sure that you know that there's does in there that are coming to heat in your area before you put this out. If you are going to put this out, this goes in your scrape. Use your Doe Prehorbital up in the licking branch. Use these two commonly. It's very important that you use your, your Prehorbitals with your scents. So you have total communication from the top to the bottom to have your best responses. If you go to our website and look at our Facebook page or our website pictures, you're going to see bucks and does up on their hind feet. 
What are they smelling? The preorbital. And then they're going to the ground and get and hitting the scrapes. That is how we're getting that total communication smell. Now, we got to be careful when, like I said, the timing's got to be right. Now, last year, we came across something last year. If you recall how warm it was last year, we had a pretty good rut get started. Everybody started using the dough passion. And then all of a sudden, things, things start falling off. The deer are going to tell you what they want. And if you're not sure of that, please feel free to email me or call me. And I'll let you know what's going on in the woods. But last year, once, they stand, once these bucks are starting looking for this doe passion, and they come in, they check that scrape, but then they can't find a doe in the area that's in heat. They lose interest. When they lose interest, what's ha what happens? They leave the area. So what we did is we developed this new product. It's called Doe Essence. What I did is I mixed 40% Ultimate Scrape Mix, 40% of the Doe Passion, and 20% of Estrus. That's what's in this bottle. And what, why it works so well, it, remember, the Ultimate Scrape Mix has got buck smell in it too. It just has the right balance to keep their interest, but not an overpowering smell of just Doe. It gave them a balance so that they keep them, kept them interested in coming. A lot of times I'll recommend to people to trade off with these two products. One week use the Doe Passion, next week use the Doe Essence. It really seems to balance things out, it kills their interest, and they keep coming back in there more often. This is our estrus. Our Doe Estrus we bring all the doughs into our cycle. We cycle up all the doughs. And when we do cycle up the doughs, we actually collect the true estrus. The estrus that comes when they're getting heat. We actually do is we will scrape the anal area of the doughs and collect that cream. That is what's in here. It's an actual cream that's inside those doughs. That's why our estrus is so effective. You can put this in a mock scrape and it works fine. But a lot of times I'll use this on a scent wick just so I can get that smell to blow out there and get it reached out. This is a far calling distant lure. This will get out there and reach out there. This combination with this on the ground and your estrus and a scent wick is a deadly combination. The best time when you use these two, if you're a gun hunter or that um, early part of that bow season, you're going in that first week of November when you're using these two products. You want to be doing is doing some doe calling. That is how you can really call these mature bucks because he got the right smell in there. And that buck thinks there's a hot doe in the area. If he thinks there's a hot doe in the area, what is he going to do? He's going to come and check it out. The best way to use our estrus scent, like I say, is on a, on a scent wick. But when you notice sometimes I've had some customers kind of complain once in a while, they try and misspray it. And what happens a little bit, it may clog a little bit, a little bit once in a while. The reason why is because it's true estrus in here. And estrus is very thick. It's a very thick substance. In order, you know, then we have the dough, um, hot dough heat urine mixed with this estrus, which makes it more effective. But that's why it makes it a little bit harder sometimes to pass through the bottle. It does work in the spray mist, but once in a while it do, will stick once in a while. This is our new hot, um, a blazing hot dough. This is what you will do in our scent drippers. If you do want to put a scent dripper out, this is what we'll, this is what we'll recommend. Also, use eight ounces to 16 ounces at a time. We, these, are, these are our eight ounce bottles. This all consists of dough and heat urine. I'll have a little bit of dough um, passion mixed in here with this. And it's just enough to keep it, really get it going and get it hot. You can put this in your scrape also, but some cut, some hunters like to run scent drippers. This is the best product to run through a scent dripper, other than what these do. But this, this is what we'd recommend to run through our scent drippers. This is called our Invisible Shield. This is our cover scent. It's an all natural product. Those of you who have purchased it or have used it, it had great success with it, and my customers really like it. It's all natural. What I mean by all natural? 
Out on our deer farm, what we do is we have rain barrels. I put everything from the forest ground, leaves, needles, everything else in the rain barrel. And when the rain does come, it goes in the rain barrel and we let that sit and ferment. And then when we start to collect it, we use a sheep's cloth and we drain it. And this is what actually is all in here. It's just rain and natural earth. It's all natural product, product no additives, nothing else added to these products. When using our products, there's a big difference what, what's here than what's out in the markets. And if you have any additional questions, please feel free to give me a call, drop me an email. These are totally different than anything else in the market. Glands respond differently than urine does. Gland has a better, a, a better communication scent, a better communication smell. Deer communicate through their glands. Does communicate through their individual gland between the hooves. Bucks will communicate up through the prehorbital gland scent, up to, the, up to their eyes, the ears, and the nose area, up by the forehead gland. That's how these bucks will communicate. With us having all the right smells, all the right products, we can cover you from all the way from the early season, all the way through the rut, and into the post rut. All these scents will work at the right times and the right areas, and we've tested them anywhere from Canada all the way down through the southern states. And we've had no trouble them scaring off deer, um, not running away, or um, them the, the just not sure what it is. But we've had very good results. And if you want to check out our results, go to, go to our webpage, look at our, um, take, a, take a look at the website, and take a look at our um, Facebook page, and you can see the results that we're having. And like I said before, if you have any other additional questions, Please feel, feel free to call me or email me. Thank you.